What's cracking, boys and my ladies? It's Ren Creates, and today, legendary summons. There is quite a few of them you can get. This video is going to teach you how to get them. Some of them you're going to be able to get early games. Others you're going to want to get quite far a bit into the game before you actually try to get them because how tough they are to locate. But this video, nonetheless, I'm going to show you guys how to get all of them, and we're starting right now. So the first summon that we're going to get is Dean. Dean if it is a Stormhawk type of summon that you can obtain very early game. Um, he's really good because not only is he flying super fast and speedy, but he also boosts your attack power as well when he's, when he's first summoned and he does this sort of battle cry, which is really cool. However, if you make your way over to the four great belfries, there's going to be an imbued sword key. Go to the one directly to the left and use it there to access that portal to get back to the area where you first started at the beginning of the game. From there, you're gonna, from there, you're gonna pay the boss a bit of vengeance and sweetly destroy him. Then you're gonna go to the right from the chapel, go through that door, go up, open the chest, and bam, Zenith is yours. Now for one of the best summons in the game, the Crystalline Ashes. Crystalline can be obtained by going into Caleb, starting from the Fort Ferreth um, side of Grace, Make your way down. You're going to want to constantly keep hitting the wall on the side of it or the mountainside until a secret area appears to get to the Celia hideout. From there, you're just going to follow my steps and you're eventually going to make it to the Crystalline Ashes. Also, while you're in Kaelid, you can also pick up the Mad Pumpkinhead Ashes, but they are quite expensive. I believe they're like 105 FP, and some people probably won't have that amount. But he is a pretty cool summon, and we can obtain him by going to the Minor Erd Tree in Kaelid, up towards the northern side. And you can go there, whip around the tree, and there's going to be a Catacombs you can go into. From here, you progress through the Catacombs, avoid the Scarlet Rot, and make your way to the double... Um, uh, they look like cats, but they're called Burial Watch Dogs. One of them is just like the one before. The other one uses magic, and I highly recommend taking out the magic one first, since basically they're both going to be on you at the same time. I've tried summons, but overall, if you're a caster or somebody that can use range against them, you've pretty much got this in the bag. That pumpkin head is pretty cool summon. He is a bit tanky. He can definitely make you. He can definitely make foes stagger, and he's a great summon to have. But. You can get two Ash Summons here, but technically three or more. But if you make your way past the K Manor boss arena and make your way up to the Rises with the three sisters, Elvia's Rise. From there, Selvia will be dead, and you can basically trade shards for summons. So there's two we can obtain here. They're both pretty good, but there is another one we can get. If we go over to the right, if we hang a right and go all the way to the graveyard from the Carrion Manor boss arena outside the walls, you can actually make your way over to these alien F area 51 creatures and pick up the Olberenic ashes these guys aren't really that amazing but i still thought it was worth showing since it's a two for the price of one type of deal now now for the best ash summon in the game the mimic ash tears so or the mimic tier ashes so, to get these, you need to be doing Ronnie's quest line, and you need to make your way to Necron. Side of Grace, that's closest to where you pick up the finger slaying knife for her quest line. You're going to want to take it right and go back into the cathedral that has a giant ball that tries to, to um, kill you that you can actually kill. You're going to want to go to the right from there and go up the ladder. From there, you're going to want to hang another right, and you're going to make your way over to this door that's locked by a swordstone key. Make sure you have a swordstone key on hand and open that up. Greet this person with a backstab and then open up the chest and those ashes are yours. Now this ash summon is incredible. It not only copies your current gear and your skills, but the more you level it up, the stronger it gets. So say you're doing a bleed build like me and you get out your good old Reduvia, you can pretty much double proc the bleed, which is awesome. 
It should also be mentioned that I believe they can also switch out their weapons too, in case they do decide to do that. And also, I'm pretty sure that they are like, they'd have about little less than half of your maximum stats. Don't quote me on that. If I am wrong, tell me in the comment sections below, but something like that. But the more you level them up with ashes, which I am having a video that will come out on how to level up and max out your ashes, which is really going to be extremely helpful because a lot of these crystalline although these summon ashes are good at the beginning of the game and can be good all the way through having them leveled up makes them a lot makes their potential show a lot more and there's a lot more proof in the pudding that they can become really helpful so that we made to the end of the video go and grab yourself these epic ash summons they're not too hard to find most of them you can get through without having to fight anyone some of them you're gonna have to fight a boss to obtain but if this video did have any type of but if this video did bring you any type of value, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe and hit the notification bell while you're at it too for more other than new content. Also, do not forget to hit me up on your email list too if you use your email list daily because of YouTube subscriptions being kind of flooded nowadays. And make sure to check out all my socials and join the journey through the lines between by checking out the other new new playlist above. If you want blind set, I also have a video on how to get that too, and also how to make this overpowered arcane bleed build. So if that does interest you, check out the playlist and subscribe. Until next time, my fellow tarnished, rise and brandish thine Elden Ring.